local webcasting for a worldwide audience. Good morning, good morning, good morning. You're listening to Thursday Live here on Radio Lewis, where the music matters. I'm Ben Fuller. I've got all the usuals for you this morning, except I won't have a live guest. My guest this week is Sai, but I had to record the interview because he's too busy, I'm afraid. He's working this morning. Anyway, we'll crack on with the usual great music. This is Buzzcocks. with someone you shouldn't have from 1978 written by pete shelley and it was a number one sorry number 12 hit on the uk singles charts and included on the album love bites in november 77 the buzzcocks were on a headline tour of the uk and before a gig at the clouds also known as cavendish ballroom in edinburgh they stayed the night they were in the blenheim guest house with pints of beer sitting in the TV room, half-watching Guys and Dolls, and one of the characters, her name was Adelaide, is saying to Marlon Brando's character, wait till you fall in love with someone you shouldn't have. And I thought, falling in love with someone you shouldn't have. Hmm, that's good. The following day, Shelley wrote the lyrics of the song in a van outside the main post office on nearby uh, Waterloo Place, and the music followed soon after. And I'm, for one, very pleased that it did. It's a great, great tune. Now, before we move on to some more great music, uh, something I really feel needs to be said is we all need to be doing something about people not only spreading fake news about the vaccine for COVID-19, but doing our bit to point them, people who spread this stuff, who maybe even believe it, point them in the right direction. Point them to the NHS website, government websites. And Don't get me wrong, I think the government need to get their finger out and target this information out there better. But this vaccination is so important, we really should do our bit to try and spread the message. I mean, for goodness sake, a chip. They really think they're going to put tracking chips in it. Have you seen the size of the needles they're using on the news and whatnot? They're too small. Come on, people, use a little bit of common sense. This vaccine is our way out of this horrible COVID lockdown. 
everybody should take it if they're offered. Okay, lecture over. This is Baggy Trousers. Madness, of course, from 1980. Baggy Trousers was from the album Absolutely, written by Suggs and guitarist Chris Foreman, reminiscing about school days. It did very well. Released as a single on the 5th of September 1980 and spent 20 weeks in the UK charts, reaching a high of number three. It was the 28th best-selling single of 1980 in the UK and it's probably one of Madness' best-known tracks. Now a track I'm not overly familiar with. It's the beat and mirror in the bathroom. Yeah. 
from 1980 Mirror in the Bathroom by the Beat from their album their debut album I should say Just Can't Stop It Uh, that hit number three I think released as a single in uh, no it reached number four in the UK singles charts Uh, it was their highest chart in release in the UK until 1983 the song was ranked number three among the top ten tracks of the year for 1980 by NME. That's where I got number three from. The NME top tracks list. I'm going to give you another one before we go to any uh, shameless self-promotion. I think it's going to go with the Pretenders. I got this in pocket I got battle I am going to use it Intention Been diving, detour leaning, no reason. in pocket from the pretenders from 1979 uh it appeared on the album of the same name pretenders and that one was their biggest hit at that point reaching number one in the uk and number 14 in the us the title comes uh from a phrase that chrissy hind after a show and it's about the cockiness that you need to effectively perform apparently I don't know if that's pub quiz gold or not. 
but I think it's quite an interesting little snippet. Time for a bit of shameless self-promotion and uh, the slightly different bit. As you know by now, I'm having to re-record all my promos, my shameless self-promotion as I call it, because they were all getting a bit old. And I'm very lucky to be in a studio with our own Nick Cooper. Nick, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, it has been two years since we last had one of these little chats, and you've since um, stopped doing a weekly show. Yeah, it just got to be too much. So, you know, I wasn't finishing my novel, I hadn't learned to play the violin or or anything like that. You Have know, you that done was... any of those things? No, none of those things. Well, <laughs> I'm still working on my novel, it'll, it'll come out eventually. Uh, well, the slightly different radio show is exactly what it says on the tin, but you've just done something... But uh, the, the show's had a theme every time since you started, and you've just decided to drop the theme. Yeah, I started doing a theme, and then thought, wait, Bob Dylan's copying me, I, I can't have that. And then I carried on doing it for ages and ages and ages, and I thought, oh, this is too much like hard work, I can't find that many songs about avocados. So I thought, sorry, I'll just, um, you know, I'll just play stuff that I like, and, you know, just play stuff for you to enjoy or endure, as the case may be. So yeah. it could be anything, it could be from, you know, something contemporary, though, Obviously, my you know my musical tastes have been you know locked in a particular time vein. But I play stuff from the forties, the fifties, the twenties, you know, and the uh, fifteen, sixteen hundred, and things like that. Any old rubbish. <laughs> Any old rubbish, and we have to endure it. I like that sentiment. Uh, well, it still sounds great. I'm really pleased you're still with us, and well, you, you are published once a month on a Wednesday. Just check out the website or Spotify or anywhere else you can find us to catch the slightly different radio show. Nick Hoover, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Ben.
the unmistakable Adam and the Ants with Ant Music, again from 1980. Released as the third single uh, from the album Kings of the Wild Frontier. Uh, peaked at number two in the UK in January 1981, being held off the top of uh, the chart by the re-release of John Lennon's Imagine after his murder in New York City on the 8th of December 1980. Not a terrible reason to be kept off the top spot, I suppose. Next up, Martha and the Muffins. Another one from 1980, Echo Beach. That was their only significant international hit. They're from Canada, uh, written in 1979. And on the album Metro Music from 1980. It did very well, actually. It's uh, number 10 on the UK singles charts, but number 6 on the Australian singles chart, the Kent Music Report. So it did, it did well internationally, not just here. It's a great tune. I'm going to follow that with Boys Don't Cry by The Cure.
about it Cover it all up with lies I try to laugh about it Hiding the tears in my eyes Cause boys Don't Nineteen seventy nine, Boys Don't Cry was a standalone single uh, in June seventy nine. It was included as the title track on Boys Don't Cry, the American equivalent to Three Imaginary Boys. I don't know why the Americans do things like that, but never mind. And uh, that made number twenty two on the UK singles charts. Now I've got one more track before uh, I uh, find the interview I had with Sai. This is the members. <laughs>
The Members and The Sound of the Suburbs from 1979 from the album The Chelsea Nightclub. It was their debut album. Smash Hit said The Members are supposed to be one of the hottest punk rock bands around, but I have my doubts. They're disposable pop rather than committed rock, though their cocky soccer crowd style has some good, good clever touches. And All Music called the album the only Members album worth owning, which I sound, sounds a bit cruel. I don't know enough about them to comment. If Cy was live, I could ask him, but I had to record this because he's working, bless him. But here he is. OK, as you know, I have been uh, talking to all the Radio Lewis presenters on the phone during Thursday Live to see how they're getting on and have a nosy into what they're doing. Unfortunately, Cy couldn't be available for the live show, so I've had to record it. Cy, good morning. How you doing, man? Good morning. I'm still alive, though. <laughs> well, that's the main thing. Yep, yeah, that's it, yep. Yeah. Uh, Rather than the recording. We uh, mainly decided to vacate the premises to keep you safe. This is true. I'm very much appreciated. So you are still working, not only uh, running the paper shop and covering everybody that's either shielding or on holiday or whatever it is, but you're still running your own business. So how are yeah. you getting on? It's it, the the record side of it's gone really busy. It's uh, it's cold because everybody's sitting at home on their laptops with nothing to do. They're buying stuff from me, which is great. So, um, so you're I, taking everybody's money? Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen my new fur coat? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's better than the government having it. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's good. Um, and it sort of it gets me out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very um, much so. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very much appreciated because like, I couldn't, if, if you guys hadn't uh, have not gone in there, then obviously I couldn't have uh, run it. So, no. uh, but then I'll do, I do that in my spare time because I'm in the paper shop as well. Yeah, getting up horrendously early. <laughs> horrendously. I pass your very your very doorstep at five o'clock in the morning most mornings. <laughs> five o'clock in the morning? Yeah, well, just before. I, 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 we have to be at the paper shop far past five. Do you know what? Um, I, I make it a point never to see two five o'clocks in the same 24 hours. <laughs> I must, I must confess, uh, at the moment, I don't see the, the one in the afternoon that often because I fall asleep in the armchair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. Uh, I do, I'm, I'm watching lots of afternoon telly, which is very weird. It is very weird, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm getting very bored of afternoon telly. I'm having to come up with more and more ingenious ways of wasting it, time. It's something it, to be said when like, you fin I finish at the paper shop and I'm, I'm getting home so I can watch Father Brown. It's something wrong there. <laughs> 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 I'm watching my clock going, oh, I've got to get home to watch Father Brown and then some idiot with antiques, you know? It's, yeah. it's weird. <laughs> so what about Radio Lewis? Are you still managing to record? I am still putting um, my own ones out, the size Sounds ones, of which there's a new one coming out this Wednesday. Um, but as for Pick and Mix, because we do it together, we can't do it. <laughs> and, so at um, the moment there's lots of repeats I suppose Nick is also working isn't she because the schools she are is. open to key workers kids and that's uh, it she's having to, um, these the Covid tests twice a week as well is she so, well uh, yeah, yeah she's well yeah she's as bonkers as ever but yeah she's very well Good. and uh, a teacher head on so yeah we, I sort of our paths cross on a Sunday morning briefly and that's it you know it's it's very strange so there is no pick and mix at the moment Oh, well, that is a shame. Well, give her our best from everybody at Radio Lewis. Yeah, so um, well, thank you. And as I've got the opportunity, what I would like to do is ask you to pick a track. Oh, you put me on a the spot there, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, it's got, it's got to be David Bowie. And can it be Kooks from the Hunky Dory album? Yes, indeed. I will play that for you right after we play out this interview. So I thank you so much for giving me your time. I know you're very busy and uh, we all hope to see you soon. Yeah, I'll just see you soon. We'll do some more live radio. Yes, I'm definitely missing my partner in musical crime. Yes, it's very weird, isn't it? It is. <laughs> so I thank you very much. Good to speak to you. Cheers. Bye-bye. Will you stay in a lover's story? If you stay, you won't be sorry Cause we believe in you Soon you'll grow So take a chance With a couple of cooks Hung up on romancing Will you stay in a lover's story? If you stay, 
You won't be sorry Cause we believe in you Soon you'll grow So take a chance With a couple of cooks I'm up on romancing Bought a lot of things to keep you warm and dry And a funny old crib on which the paint won't dry I bought you a pair of shoes A trumpet you can blow And a book of rules of What to say to people when they pick on you Cause if you stay with us you're gonna be pretty cookie too Will you stay in our lover story? If you stay, you won't be sorry Cause we believe in you Soon you'll grow So take a chance With a couple of kooks I'm up on romancing And if you ever have to go to the school Remember how they messed up this old fool Don't pick fights with the bullies or the cats Cause I'm not much cop at punching other people's dads And if the homework brings you down Then we'll throw it on the fire and take the car downtown Will you stay in our love story? If you stay, you won't be sorry Cause we believe in you Soon you'll grow So take a chance with a couple of cooks I'm up on romancing Will you stay in my love story? If you stay, you won't be sorry Cause we believe in you Soon you'll grow So take a chance with a couple of cooks They are just beside Kooks from David Bowie from 1971 from the album Hunky Dory. Barry wrote the song to his newborn son, Duncan Jones. The song was a pastiche of early 70s Neil Young because Barry was listening to Neil Young at home on the 30th of May 1971 when he got the news of the arrival of his son. Before the studio recording of the song was made, it was recorded for the BBC In Concert radio show with John Peel on the 3rd of June 71, broadcast on the 20th. In 2000, this uh, recording was released on the Bowie at the Beeb album. You're listening to Thursday Live here on Radio Lewis, where the music matters. My name's Ben Fuller, and we're just going to carry on as we started. This is The Damned. Is she really going out with him?
things like a stormy sea I don't know why, I don't know why I guess these things have gotta be I've got a new rose, I've got a good Dance and you there, I always would I can't stop to mess around Like a brand new rose in town New Rose from 1976, the first single by The Damned, considered to be the first single by a British punk group. Uh, the deadpan intro, Is She Really Going Out With Him, parodied the 1964 Shangri-La song, Leader of the Pack. It's a great tune. Should play a bit more Damned all the time, I think. Never mind, this is the undertones. Another one from 1980, My Perfect Cousin. A song inspired by an actual cousin of one of the band members, as uh, was written during the summer of 79, recorded at uh, the Wizard Lord Studios. Uh, it was one of first of two singles to be released by the, from the band's hypnotised LP, the second being Wednesday Week, and released on the 28th of March 1980. The single reached number nine in both the UK singles chart and the Irish charts, making the song the band's only top ten single. That's a bit of a shame. Now I'm going to play you one more before we have some more shameless self-promotion. This is Generation X.
Valley of the Dolls, the second single and title track to the second album uh, by Generation X from 1979. It reached number 23 on the UK singles charts. Now it's time for some more shameless self-promotion and I'm going to blow my own trumpet. This is the rock spot. But right, Ben, Ben, come here, come here. What do you want? Oh, I've, I want to ask you about your rock show. You've been badgering me about all mine and I thought it's about time you had yours done. So, right, tell me about your rock show. What's it all about? My rock show, it's about bringing fantastic rock music to a wider audience. I, simple as that. I try and find all the best new stuff. I still play all the old classic stuff. Well, you have to. And I bring my love of rock music to a wider audience. That's, that's really all it is. I just want to prove to people that rock music is just not a loud, horrible noise like Motorhead. Oh, is it not? Oh, <laughs> so, where, why do you like rock music? Where did, where did that come from? Actually, I was very, very young, and I was quite often babysat by my cousin Caroline, who was a huge ACDC fan, right. and she used to play that to make me go to sleep. Oh, well, that's a good ACDC were my yeah. alibis. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's cool. So, um, that was it. It was a great sound. I, I've loved it since I was a toddler. That's cool. That's good. Well, I've been listening to it as well, and I've found a few things that I've, I've not heard of before. Some of them I thought, oh, really? Is that rock? I mean, so, yeah, it's good. And as long as you keep finding it, you know, your mole does a good job for you. My mole, yeah. <laughs> he finds all sorts of stuff for me that I haven't got time to look so for. So keep on the good work and keep on rocking. Absolutely. That's it. Ta da. <laughs> Is that it then? That's it. I've got nothing else to say to you because it's just so good. Oh, all I right, thought then. that'll do. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you're son. chasing me. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>
track that needs no introduction whatsoever from 1976 and probably believed by some at least to be the most influential punk track ever released our Steve Brooks among them from the album never mind the bollocks here's the Sex Pistols what else can I tell you what a fantastic fantastic tune tune's probably the wrong word but never mind this is X-Ray Specs Germ Free Adolescence from 1978. It's the title track to X-Ray Specs' debut album and one of three hit singles. It was the third to be released, uh, which reached number 18 in November 1978. Well, that's just about it. I've run out of time. Uh, so as he may not be able to do Saturday Live, so you may have to put up with me for another two hours on Saturday. But if she can't do it, I might see if I can get her on the phone to have a chat with us. Uh, in the meantime, this is the Lamb Brothers and Poison Ivy. You've been listening to Thursday Live here on Radio Lewis, where the music matters. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time, stay safe. Ta-da. Touch poison.